Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll take a look how to combine two JSON files together into one map or one map object. So here I have this JSON file and this JSON file is about English language. So here we have key and value together like this. And corresponding to this one, I have another JSON file. And the key are the keys are same as this English one, but the values are different, a different language. So how to combine them together into one uh, big map file or JSON file like that. Now to be able to do that, well, one thing I have to know, I'm here dealing with languages, okay, different languages, because you may need this for uh, multiple language in your app. Anyway, so first I'll go ahead and create a language model. So here is my language model. So in this model, I'm going to use uh, image URL, language name, language code, and country code. And this is the constructor. Now after saying that, actually we can go ahead and uh, create instance using this model. So how to do that? Now before we do that, actually we need to use value for them and that's why here I have this app const file now this is my app const constants file and inside this I have here this languages settings and uh, so over here you can see that I'm trying to create instance and for each of them I'm calling the constructor and gi giving them value the corresponding value the one we need for this field and after that uh, while well, we save them in a list so this is the list that we are going to use and how are we going to use that and this is where actually the map inside map comes in place now here i have this uh, dependency file you can uh, create any file you want and here's the magic happens so here you see that i've created a map and in general map takes a string and dynamic property or string but here you see that instead of string here I have another map so for the value itself I'm creating another map over here anyway so this is the languages map object and then we go through this a languages list the list that actually we have created early this is the list since this is a list we can use a for loop to go through it and uh, that's why we have this for loop over here as you can see so we get the whole list and then we look through it and each of the item in the list we call language model and then now for each of the language model actually we are going to use this language code and then we're going to load them from our json file now these are the two json files that we have seen earlier now here you do see that here I'm going to use language code. Now if you see over here, language code actually refers to EN or BN. It depends on what, what language you use like that. So if we see over here, so either it would be in this path and then EN.JSON EN or BN.JSON like that, okay? So it would refers to the JSON files. And now actually these two JSON files are here. And you can see this is the path name or complete path, assets language. So here I have assets and language like that. So anyway, I'm going to load them. Now this is where actually, this is the reason why we built this language model class earlier. So it should make sense now that why we have this model class. Once you have this model class, it's easy to get the objects and do whatever you need. So anyway, so we load the JSON file and uh, as we load, we use our language code. Now, because in this list we have two items, so it'll go through it two times. And then we'll see that over here. So first, most probably it'll take this uh, English JSON file because in app const we have this english json file where the code is en so we take everything from there as a string and we decode them and after decoding we put them in a new map variable we call it mapped json and here the property is a dynamic for the value but we want to convert everything to a string so we create a new map object 
Now, once again, since this is a map, we can also use for each loop to go through it. Now, over here, you can see since it's map, we can access this key and value. So we take the value from each of this file, like for example, if this is English file referring to the first one. So for this key, we take the value for this key, we take the value and that what happens over here. So it goes through a loop. And then it puts everything here in this JSON key. So what will happen will end up having this values over here, the values, not the key. Okay, so for key, we put this value. Now, since this is uh, inside for loop, actually, it's going to run two times because the list is a two. Now, after that, each time we actually save our JSON, the decoded JSON from here inside this languages map the one that we actually created early at the top as you can see and here actually we follow a basic format so here our language code and country code language code and country code and uh, of course I'm trying to print them so here inside this list we'll see both of them and in a map format so we'll see map inside map so here I'm going to print it so let's go ahead and run it and we'll see that over here we do see that we have this printed value like you see over here this one so the first is ENES and this is the exact format that I was talking about all right and so EN refers to the country language code and ES refers to the country code and whatever uh, value we have for that certain key we put all this value then the one we read from here and here of course it goes through in a for loop so it, it is able to separate them so the first section is this one over here as you can see and then the second one is this one over here so yes so that's how you store map inside map in flutter thank you so much